Hey, how's it going guys? John Santos and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start and grow their business ASAP. Now in today's video, we're going to cover Shopify and how easy it is for you guys to get set up with an account, launch your store website and what the backend features include. So uh, it's going to be my challenge to get this done in less than 15 minutes. So you guys will see exactly the expanded overview and you guys can get to working on it ASAP. Now, if you decide to move forward with Shopify, I appreciate it if you click the links in my description here or on the about page on this YouTube channel. Click the link in the description. It'll allow me to get some credit from Shopify. And I mean, it's the least you guys can do if you're already gonna create your free account, just go through that because you'll be doing me a huge solid and I'll be able to continue providing additional content. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the Shopify homepage telling you exactly what it's about, what you get, and overall they're just really selling you on this. And uh, overall it's a great platform. So you just start your, you just input your email here or not. So you just simply hit that, get started, create your password. So once you create your account, it literally takes you right to this. Uh, very simple, very straightforward, like I was telling you guys. So now after you enter in your basic information, it'll take you right to the back end. Now this is Shopify's back end. And what this is, is Shopify is broken down into two parts. It has their back end and then it has the themes back end. So don't let this overwhelm you guys. This is really simple. Um, I mean, once you start seeing this, it seems like a lot of information at first, but it's, it's really not. Um, and then once you, once your trial is like coming to a close, you can select a plan. We'll go through that later. But for now, what you want to do is you want to go to online store and then from here, it'll take you to themes. Don't click on this cause you're going to be editing like a very random, simple theme. This is going to confuse the shit out of you. So just go to the visit the theme store. Now you can visit the theme store and select a free theme or select a paid theme right on Shopify's platform. So in this case, these are all the different themes that they have for paid. If you go up onto the left and you hit the free, because if it's free, it's for me, um, you're able to pretty much go to, it's a, it's a limited selection of the free uh, themes, which kind of suck. But the best one for this, for this one, we're gonna go with this guy here. Um, it's a free theme and you can view the demo. So if you like it, you can actually take a look at it. It's pretty simple. I mean, if you have some product, one banner image, tabs, and you could rename all that stuff so it it, it becomes completely yours. Um, if you don't like it, you can choose another one. If you go onto the Envato link below, you can select Shopify on the Envato or the Theme Forest, and then you can click on one of these. So on this one, as you can tell, these themes are for Shopify. Prices are a little bit more competitive, you know, around 50, anywhere from 30 to a hundred dollars so you can select which one you want in this case i already opened up this tab so then it takes you to their demo which allows you to view it i already opened that one up so here's a demo this is one that costs 50 bucks as you could tell it does different you know it allows you to organize it here it has some really cool features if you have a lot of product if you have a lot of visuals this is going to be a really good good one uh, but definitely just take a look at just take a look at what it is that you want there's a lot to choose from guys so just look at it look at the reviews look at how it works and as long as you envision it and you can see it being yours buy it for in this tutorial we're going to literally just do install the brooklyn theme which was the free theme on shopify so let's install that theme and then we'll do as publish as my stores theme meaning that that's going to be the primary theme that goes onto your store whatever your clothing line line's name is you'll be able to install it onto there. So then you go to your theme manager. Now, you're able to customize the theme. As you can tell, this is a Brooklyn theme here. Um, it still has the other one. So like if you had other previous ones, you could still switch back and forth. But let's go to customize this theme. As you can tell, there's nothing here anymore. It's not that like nice looking thing anymore. Uh, this is a blank slate. It's up to you with how you want to create it. But for the purpose of this video, guys, we're going to go like I'm going to explain to you the difference between the theme and then between the back end here. So the theme has its own, it has its own customization options, meaning that for instance, this homepage, it allows you to 
edit the home page like exactly how you want this home page to be if you want to so there's like a slider so there's a second so how many seconds it is the image so here's the image that you're going to want to put on here if you don't like it you can just cut it you could always undo changes that you do here um so yeah literally it allows you to choose what you want the slide two this is the second slider image so you could choose a second file and then it'll rotate and then it'll rotate and then so we have the home page and then we have product pages and uh the product page option here doesn't really have much so what i'm trying to say is that every theme that you select has its own unique options so in a way it can kind of be confusing but once you get the hang of it like once you know where things are you'll be able to edit the theme so like if you click home or if you click catalog um here's the products so you see this there are no products yet so if we add a product description and then we can upload your images okay so we'll add the product here and you can add the multiple products so you're able to like do a inside view very simple put your pricing whatever pricing it is charge taxes what this means is if you want to charge a tax aside from that um, for the most part if you want to build it in then that's fine um, and then all these different options is if you have SKUs, you can uh, you can upload the SKUs. Inventory, you're probably gonna want Shopify to track it. So if you have like, say you have 30 in stock, um, and then this is an option if they allow it. So if you're if you're able to get it pretty quickly, you can put that. Shipping is gonna be is gonna be important. So you just add the weight of the product. Fulfillment service manual. Variants mean like sizes, so if you have large, extra large, etc. And then your SEO, so this is what actually comes up when somebody pastes that on their, like on Facebook or whatever. Um, this is a description that comes up here, as you can see there. Bag description, uh, Cypher Red Rose. Do whatever you want there, guys, just really quickly. Save product. This is the URL handle, so that's where it's gonna be placed. Um, Go into your online store, customize your theme. When you upload something on the back end, it'll come up to the front end. So that means that everything's gonna go onto the website theme. Um, and like I mentioned, every every website is different with how it displays its products. Um, so for instance, this one is a featured product here. Um, and then your other products can go on there. And these are collections. So when it says collections and stuff like that, just, uh, don't get overwhelmed with all that stuff like what that means is that it's going to you can categorize you're going to be able to categorize your products so whether it's bags hats shirts collections are pretty much anything you want to categorize and you categorize it on the back end and then here on the collections when it says product title is equal to you could also put product tags so when you're uploading your product um, you're able to pretty much give it a tag and it'll it'll sort it under that collection's name. Once again, collections allows you to organize your product so your website is so your website has featured collections here and it all goes according to the theme. So just keep that in mind. For the purpose of this video, I will not be editing this whole entire website, but I will jump into this theme, which is this this is one of the websites I found that was actually using this exact same theme, the exact same one that we were customizing just now. But as you can tell, he did different different style of, uh, he was able to organize it here into different collections. And then he has this product here and it really outlines everything that he has. So you're able to do sizing, your colors, your options, like everything is, everything is integrated there. Uh, once you add it to cart, it literally takes you here and you have the option to give people to either check out with PayPal or check out directly on Shopify. So. Um, in this case, the customer enters their information, first name, last name, address, city, and you get paid. And you could also have discount codes there so people will be able to get discounts on your products. So if you have any questions as far as design-wise, comment down below. But for the most part, just know that you're able to organize each theme according to whatever it is that you want to do it's really up to you shopify gives you the tools the themes give you the ability to make it look good all right so don't let it overwhelm you 
in the settings you'll have this is your store's information payments this is going to be important so if you already watched my video on how to start a clothing line um, the information that you have there is going to allow you to 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 open up a bank account and you're going to be able to complete your account setup so in this case you enter in your business's information your ein number which is your um, which is your your company's social security number you're able to enter in your address this is your personal information um, and then it gives you some information and then it asks you for some product information so like exactly what are you selling and how how long average does it take if you already have products on hand it's going to be you know you're going to fulfill it within six days if you're drop shipping products then it could be a little bit longer and depending on how you select these shopify does its own has its own algorithm and it might ask you to keep some money in reserve in case you're not able to fulfill and you're ripping people off so they make sure that your customers are taken care of and that you're taken care of so as long as you answer these questions truthfully you'll be good don't worry about it uh, this is what the customer's billing statement so you'll see exactly how people will be charged and this is where you connect your bank account it's that simple and then you're able to complete your account setup you're able to get money to your account right from this tab there is no other there's not there's real simple if you want to activate paypal the same thing you just go through the paypal option amazon payments the same way it allows you to really capture payments in whatever um, whatever method that they that the customer likes uh, when it comes to customer accounts, uh, it asks you for what information you're going to want, the order processing, um, so then it literally gives you option like step by step, check, uncheck, your refund policies, privacy policies, that will all be on the website. And then it allows you to update your shipping information. So on this, in, in this case, it, um, it pretty much lets you know like, okay, standard shipping, what do you want to charge? If you have shirts and if you have a standard type boxes, then you go to the USPS and you look to see what standard prices are for those, for those shipping um, amounts. But for the most part, it actually does it accordingly. So you're able to choose how much to charge the customer. So if you want to do a flat rate, like $8, because you know that USPS is charging you maybe maybe 8 to $9, depending on where it's going, then you, you could decide to do just a flat shipping on anything from 0 to 5 pounds, anything over 5 pounds, and you can add other rates here as well. For $29 a month, you're able to choose your shipping rates and just price it based on the pricing that you've that you've seen on USPS. Just go up there and just check to see. Measure your box's dimension, your weight, and enter the information on here, and you're able to easily have people check out. And then, so you see it says upgrade your plan. This charges a little bit more, but if you want that option, you can. Although, if you're just starting out, this is a good way to start out just ship it yourself for now and then here you're able to select your package sizes so uh, for instance the this is a sample uh, this is a sample size here uh, you could always change that option this is the weight of the box when empty so then it'll add the weight of the it'll add the weight of the shirt and then it'll give it'll allow you to to pretty much choose like this is it this is the weight of the shirt and then so it's going to charge you eight bucks and it's letting usps know uh, or whatever carrier know that these are the dimensions of the product so as you can tell it's really robust but it's really simple to go through once you're ready to create your account you simply go to the account under the settings and then you go to add a credit card so it doesn't ask you to add a credit card until you're ready to to your till you're ready to launch so you hit add a credit card and ask you for that you select a plan, so you can select a plan here, and these are the plans for Shopify. Twenty-nine dollars a month is a basic one. I recommend you go with that. But of course, if you have, if you have an actual retail storefront, like if you have a retail store, Shopify also has packages for retail stores, allowing you to sell in retail and sell online, all connected, all easy to go. Choose your plan, and then from there, you choose a website. So you choose your domain name, whatever you want it to be. You can buy it from Shopify, and if you buy it from Shopify, you're able to pretty much connect it like seamlessly, and then you're able to like renew it right from your Shopify account. If you don't buy it from Shopify, you can always link it to the Shopify account, and that's still fine. Um, so yeah, so that's literally how you launch a Shopify store, guys. The most important part that I want you guys to take away from this video, from everybody watching it, wondering what Shopify is about or why you should choose a Shopify site, is that Shopify breaks it down into two options. It has its backend. This is where you manage all the backend settings. So think about this as, 
as like your back office and then it has the front end which is the website theme so whatever theme you install is going to have its own unique uh, settings it's going to have its own unique format so when you're looking through the themes either on the Shopify store or on Envato or theme forest really look to see how how each thing functions because for the most part unless you're going to be coding it's going to be like that so um, you know just the simple selections as far as clicking on on a sizing or adding to car or like all those little like the flow of the website this is how it's going to be um, and that 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 pretty much means that you don't have to code anything um, and you're able to pretty much create it create it and make it your own um, but with limitations as to what the theme wants it to to work as so just keep that in mind guys when you're looking for themes if you don't like a certain little function of it but you like the design that's going to be something that you have to that you have to work with because they're, you're not customizing it they're not charging you thousands of dollars to create your own theme they're charging you anywhere from free to a couple bucks to a couple hundred bucks to have a to have a pretty legit theme that looks and represents your brand so as you guys can see shopify is a very simple and clear cut platform for you to launch your website. It's really broken down into two parts. Shopify's backend, which allows you to control inventory, settings, and more of like the backend controls. And then you have the website features, the website theme, exactly how your site's gonna portray, where product imagery is gonna go, and how it's really shown to the world. So once you understand those two concepts, it's all about clicking around, dropping the images where they need to be dropped, uploading the product where it needs to be uploaded, and setting up the settings so it works for you and it really works for everyone else that's going onto your site. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like it, subscribe, comment down below with any questions that you may have, and more importantly, let's stay connected. Head on over to Instagram or hit me up on Snapchat. Let me know what, you, what kind of questions are coming through your guys' mind, and I'll continue producing content. All right, guys, let's get it. Talk soon. Bye.